for the local news. Tracy Island, the single mother from Torquay's infamous Warren Road, has today, been described by town hall officials, as a highly dangerous individual, who must be stopped from producing any more videos, that expose the shocking truth of everyday life, for people living, along the forgotten streets, of the wonderful English Riviera. Hello me lovelies, and welcome inside my secret bunker. Last week, local conservative councillor, Mrs. Victoria Bay, or Tory, as we call her in these parts, employed my darling little friend Dwayne Harper, to work for her, at the town hall vault, and the mausoleum at Oldway Mansion. He was desperate for a job bless him. So, he must watch over the sleeping Tories, who lie in these blue coffins, only to rise again, if they win the next election in two years time. But I know friends, that Mrs. Tory Bay will want Dwayne, to be a source of information. She is a nasty piece of works, and intends for Dwayne to lead her to this little old bunker of mine and drag me to the town hall dungeons, so I can speak out no more. She is convinced that the Liberal Democrats, will get kicked out of the town hall at the next election, for breaking their promise to license local landlords. However, Mrs. Love, might still have a rabbit left, to pull from her yellow hat. Enjoy me lovelies. Moi. Oh, good lord Mrs. Love, you have turned yellow. Is that jaundice, has your liver failed to cope, with all the alcohol, that you consume at the many soirees around Torbay, the ocean liners you sail upon, and the salubrious hotels you stay at? Good heavens, no Mrs. Bay, I am blessed and filled by the spirit of liberal Democrats. It descends upon those of us, who are diligent and loyal to our party. Does this so-called liberal democratic spirit, afford you knowledge and wisdom? If it does, then how come, you continue to rub the noses of your constituents in your grand Facebook posts, which boastfully depict you, holidaying in opulent hotels and oil-rich principalities, or getting the captain's ear, on board a luxury ocean-going liner? Most towns centre poor, can't even afford a bus ticket, to Tynmouth. I would never display an image of me partaking in a spot of trophy hunting on the African plains. Or, sat on the terrace, of a fellow party member's grand holiday home in Barbados, built from the profits of slave traders. Privately, and well-educated politicians like me, realize, that there is a limit to the amount of information, one should reveal about one's own private life. Well, at least I have plans to help the town center residents Mrs. Bay. Your party's track record in that area, has always been to do nothing, and you patronize campaigners. It is because your party is only interested in the richer parts of Tabe, that the town center is in such a mess. There is no helping some people Mrs. Love, why waste money in side streets, where most people are happily killing themselves with alcohol and hard drugs? The poor have never gone away. As matter of fact, they are referred to in the Bible. And have always been found in Torbay. We have always made sure, that they never discuss the righteous, we warn people where they are, and try to make sure they are never found in the places we live in. I feel sorry for you Mrs. Bay, you are colder than any codfish, that swims in the icy ocean waters around Bricks um. I am warm, and full of all that is lovely. So, on the first Saturday in October, there is to be a fun day in Melville Streetcar Park for the residents, with making Melville marvelous, and lots of fun entertainment. Residents will be consulted, about how they would like some money, this administration has identified to improve their area, spent. I see it now, Mrs. Bay, the residents will be skipping, like baby spring lambs, along Abbey Road, clutching yellow poses, to bring for me, at this most spectacular event, and you will see the transforming power of a liberal democratic, coalition council deliver and heal that community. Are you absolutely sure, that you are not indulging in too much alcohol, or visiting one of those drug dens on Melville Street, Mrs. Love? I am still not convinced by your yellow countenance. It is the liberal democrat spirit, Mrs. Bay. I am totally filled. I hired from your constituency, Dwayne Harper, you probably know him. He addressed me, while polishing the coffin of a dearly departed, conservative party member, at rest in Lady Margaret's. That's our town hall vault. He said how he was with some of his kind, outside of Carter's and Abbey Road, and heard how your constituents, are far more concerned about the loss of sleep, 
and being scared rigid by the noise of violent outbursts emanating from drug-fueled residents at large outside their doors at night than any jamboree you may have in mind. Surely, from what I heard, they will be much too tired to attend. Mrs. Bay, you make me so angry, you are just so negative. I truly pity you. Thank goodness, liberal Democrats are not like that. I am filled with such hope for our town center. The residents will all be there in their droves, thanking me for organizing such a momentous event. They will all be filled with joy beyond measure, singing and dancing, and promising to re-elect me. I prefer to consider myself a realist Mrs. Love, I said, a realist.